next up on WTV, FIC Teacher Incentives, Today's Sports, and this week's edition of Real Talk. WTV's daily update starts now. Hey there, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Friday, January 13th, and I'm Shannon Christian with today's daily update, brought to you by Wingspan TV. Although the holiday season has ended, FIC recently passed a new retention incentive for teachers. WTV's Luke Bishop has the details. The annual January Retention Incentive is a yearly bonus for teachers that have been in the district for more than one year. Coming in at 1% of a teacher's base salary, or $250, whichever is higher, plus $50 for every year in the district. The bonus isn't life-changing, but it's appreciated by most teachers. Absolutely, right? Anytime the district wants to throw more money at me, I'm not going to be upset. Um, yeah, it's great. I mean, I think, to be frank, it's not the biggest amount each year, um, but it's something, so, you know, doing what they can. According to recent projections about holiday spending, the average American is expected to spend nearly $1,500 this year. It's pretty nice because um, Christmas spending adds up really quickly, so it is nice to have that little bit of extra al uh, amount on top of this year's, this month's pay to kind of make up for all that stuff. Reporting for WTV, I am Luke Bishop. When it comes to content on the WTV Daily Update and Wingspan, the focus is on all things Liberty. There are times when students are encouraged to seek professional opportunities, and that's been the case to two staff reporters. WTV's Karina Gohoskaya explains. For many people, high school can be a gateway to finding the career you want to go into. From hands-on experience in a hospital to working in a professional kitchen. For other students, it's being on the sidelines of the Big 12 Championship, the Cotton Bowl, or Mavs Media Day. For two students, these opportunities have become a reality, with senior Luke Martin being able to attend Mavs Media Day and be on the sidelines of the Big 12 Championship game. Getting to have these opportunities has been a really cool experience because, you know, there's not many other high schoolers that are getting to do these things, and it's really cool at this age to just be in these professional settings, and I'm a huge sports fan, so just at the Mavs Media Day, you know, being right next to all my favorite NBA players and then right there on the sideline for the Big 12 Championship is just really cool. Wingspan advisor Brian Higgins, who has worked on the sidelines at professional and college games, knows things are a lot different than working a game at Kirkendall Stadium. Covering high school sports versus covering a college or professional sport is just dramatically different. The work isn't that much different, but the environment is a huge difference. When you're at at t Stadium covering the Big 12 Championship, or the Cotton Bowl. There's so many other people around and you just have to be very aware of what it's like and you're working with all professionals. Junior Ryan Shapiro had his chance to work along professionals at this year's Cotton Bowl. I'm looking forward to like getting that professional experience because I want to go into a field related with like sports journalism or broadcasting or something like that and it's really exciting to get this real world experience in high school uh, and to like actually be on the field and experience what the game is like down there. I think it's important as a teacher to let students know that there's more out there, that the learning doesn't have to stop or be limited by the classroom, that if there's something they want to pursue or they're interested in, go for it. Why not? Reporting for WTV, I'm Karina Kowalskaya. On today's sports, WTV's Luke Martin brings you a recap on Red Hawk Athletics. Moving away from the sidelines, Cheer will be competing in the 2023 UIL Spirit State Championship today, with preliminaries starting for the Red Hawks at 2.05 p.m. The team feels well prepared heading into the meet. To prepare for UIL, what we've been doing is that we've had practices just to go over the material we already have during school, and then this week we just started after school practices. So we had it last night, we'll have it tonight again, and then we'll get to run it the day of. Everybody gets like assigned mat time. Um, for choreography, we have two choreographers come in from Express Cheer and they give us our material. It's been really nice the last couple years because we've gotten to build on our material. So like seeing what the judges like and don't like, we've been able to adapt what we've used in the past, especially for our fight song. The team hopes to build on the success of previous years. For the last five years, we've been doing UIL. Um, it wasn't until my sophomore year that it became like a requirement for FIC schools. Um, but so our first year, I think we, they made finals. My freshman year, we didn't make finals, but after that we've improved since, which is what you want to do. So we're hoping that we stay on the same track for this year. After coming off two wins over the break versus Lebanon Trail and Heritage, boys basketball look to keep their first place spot in the district as they face off against Independence tonight. 
Tip-off will be at 8 p.m. at Independence High School. Like the boys, coming off of two district wins over the break versus Lebanon Trail and Heritage, girls basketball will look to continue their success tonight, going up against Independence at 6.30 p.m. at the Nest. Also taking place tonight, wrestling will be competing in the Trojan Tourney, with matches beginning at 9 a.m. at Euless Trinity High. Reporting for WTV, I'm Luke Martin. On this week's edition of Real Talk, WTV's Lauren Sinclair asked students about the new year. Hey Red Hawks, this is WTV's Lauren Sinclair with this week's edition of Real Talk. What's a New Year's resolution that you have? Um, to stay more focused in school. Um, do better in school. Um, to get out the house more and just like visit more family and friends. Um, I don't really have any because you should be doing all that good stuff during the year. Like, why are you doing that and waiting till the next year to do that? Like, come on now. Come on. What was the highlight of your winter break? Definitely my ski trip. Getting to go back to California and seeing my friends. Um, getting, like, the chance to spend time with, like, everybody and, like, having free time. <sighs> Sleeping, like, caught up on so much sleep, so bus. Reporting for WTV, I'm Lauren Sinclair. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. And now for today's announcements. Buy your winter formal tickets at onlineschoolfees.com for $25 and $30 at the door. Anyone can be nominated for Snow King and Snow Queen using the QR code. Snow King and Snow Queen winners will be crowned at 8.30 p.m. and nominees must attend to be crowned. If you're a sophomore or junior interested in joining the independent study and mentorship program at Liberty High School, please scan the following QR code for application information. All applications are due by January 31st. For more information, contact Coach Wickham at wickhamh at That's it for today's daily update. This is Shannon Christian for Wingspan TV.